trying to be able to do these videos um, for you guys and be able to update you on what's going on with the house and how far the house is and where we at and what do we need and how the struggle is. The struggle is not easy. Building a house in Liberia is not for the faint hearted. You have to be really strong mentally and I can't even begin to imagine physically. You have to be strong because if your mental strength is not there, you cannot build a house in Liberia. I mean, that's that's just the truth. I don't even think it's just Liberia. I think it's any anywhere in the world, even in America, when you're purchasing your house and you're seeing it built from ground up, there are some challenges, but not as much as when you have to actually look for everything and purchase it yourself to build your house. But enough of that. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my new subscriber guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my old subscribers. Thank you once more for being so patient with me. I really, really appreciate your patience and your support. I am so blessed to have each one of you guys, 400 and I think 69 one of you. I'm so, so happy. And guys, let's try to get up to 500, y'all. I'm excited. Today, we're going to be talking about the cabinet. Um, the cabinet of the house. So when I was ready to do the cabinet, I wanted to do the cabinet with wood. I didn't want to do the 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 usual um, metal frame. Um, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do wood and I didn't want to send my cabinet from America to Liberia. I, I saw that some people are shipping the cabinet to Liberia or go down to the Lebanese people and get them to mold in metal frames for me. I didn't want that. I wanted authentic wood. And my father... Oh my God, T.Y. His name is T.Y. Whenever you guys ask for number of an engineer or somebody to help you in Liberia, I always send his number to you. If I'm sending his number to you guys, make sure you're giving him a call because when I give you his number, I also let him know that I have given his number to somebody who's going to be calling him. So keep up to your words and I'll keep mine. But enough of that. I, I am so thankful to him for all his work. All his hard work, guys. He he's amazing. He is. I can't even um, begin to start. He's not a perfect person, but if I have to give him a rating from one to one hundred, I'll be giving him a one thousand percent, guys. Nobody is perfect. Even me, I'm not perfect. But he give he make sure he give his best at everything that he does for me and my husband guys i can't begin to thank him more I, this video wasn't supposed to be about thanking him but it just when i think about what he had to do with the next chapter and the phrase of of this um building process i just can't help but just to thank him on camera so he can know that we appreciate it even though we do know that he know we do appreciate him but i just had to give him his credit on here guys so like I said, the cabinet, my husband had to look for somebody who he knew could do the cabinet because I am a little bit difficult when it comes to finishing touches. I want my finishing touches to stand out. Um, so he had to look for somebody he knew that could do um, great work and that would be patient and willing to work with me when it came to the cabinet. So luckily he was able to find somebody that he had used previously. And guys, they did a great job. Great, great, great job. They really did a great job on the cabinet. But their work ethic was like... Um, would I recommend them to you? Yes, I will recommend them to you. Um, you just have to be patient because the, the way they did the work was um, disappointing to me. Because um, I felt like I gave them a place to sleep. I gave them everything they needed to be able to get my work done on time. And I still couldn't get that. Um, but with that being said, they were still able to finish the cabinet work. 
um, we were able to purchase the Firestone wood, which was the best wood um, in Liberia. I think that's what I heard. And that's what my father told me was the best wood for cabinet. We were able to purchase it and we did the cabinets in the bathrooms, the cover in the bathroom. We did all my kitchen cabinet. Um, and we all the finishing woodwork in the house excluding the doors we did um, with the firestone wood even the bar we did the bar also with the firestone wood and um after we got done with the cabinet i'm gonna make sure i you know let you guys know step by step when we got done with the cabinet i was ready for the door work and i don't want to separate the door and the cabinet in two separate videos guys <laughs> I was looking for a simple door. I didn't want any design. I just wanted them to give me a simple plain door. And I couldn't find that. When I find somebody to do the simple door, the wood that they use, you can literally, my um, five-year-old son can step into the door and break it. Because they were using plywood for the doors. And I didn't want that. I was like, I don't know what else to do. You know, I don't want to go by the metal doors because that's what we usually do. My doors are actually very long. I think they're about eight feet long. The doors are about eight feet long or so. I didn't want to just get like a, a metal door that you would see in the house. It would be like a very long eight feet metal door. I didn't know how that was going to look. So my father, again... He volunteered to go in the bush. I don't know if it was, I can't remember the name of the tree, but he volunteered to go in the bush and, and look for wood to make my doors, guys. He went in the bush and he got all my doors wood. So guys, I had some technical difficulties. Um, he was able to go in the in the bush for the woods and he got all my woods for all seven, no, eight doors in the house, the interior um, doors. And I took it to the, the, um, the wool shop and they were able to make my doors, my simple doors with no design. I'm so happy that, you know, he was able to do that for me, guys. Like I said, I'm so grateful for all that he has done and all he continued to do. I am truly blessed and thankful for all his love and help that he continued to show to me and my family, guys. I can't emphasize on how much I appreciate him. And um, I think that's about all for this video. So please stay tuned and keep watching to the end. I have all the videos of the cabinet and the doors. And the next video that we're going to be uploading will be the video of painting. Again, once more, you guys have a wonderful day. And to my new subscriber, thank you again. And to my old subscriber, you know, thank you for your support. I truly appreciate each and every one of you and have a blessed day. Next time, guys.